Hello guys, uh, welcome to Selenium in Java training guys. So guys, with this video, I'm going to start the Java interview question series also. Because Java interview questions, we cannot do it, you know, theoretically that just like we did for test ng and, and Selenium interview questions, okay? So in, in this particular session, in every session, we will write a particular, uh, we will pro solve a problem, okay? And then uh, we will see that, uh, you know, what is the solution and what kind of solution you can give at a time of interview, okay? And we will cover only important interview questions, okay? Like programming interview questions. So quickly, I'll start that. Today's topic is that how will you reverse a particular string uh, with a given string without using the uh, the without using the existing function? How will you reverse a string? Okay. So this is a package, Java package I've already created, and uh, I'm going to create in this particular package. I'm going to create a a class. Let's see, my class name is reverse okay reverse string select the main method and click on finish okay and inside the main method let's see i have one string quickly i'll write let's see string s is equal to selenium okay now guys one important thing if they say that okay can i write like this system dot out dot print and s dot reverse let's see with with the help of existing function if you write s dot reverse is not available in okay why s dot reverse is reverse is not a function reverse is there is no reverse function in a string class why because a string is a mutable object okay a string is a immutable object it means s dot reverse is not available it means on the same object name as i cannot operate the reverse okay so s dot reverse i cannot use it most of the people they get confused and they give the wrong answer if they if the interviewer is asking Okay, so let's, let's implement with the help of existing function, with the help of default function. And immediately we'll say that, okay, s dot reverse. No, s dot reverse, there is no reverse function in a string class, guys. There is no reverse and immediately you will be rejected. It means your knowledge is very poor. Okay, immediately you have to say that, okay, a string is a mutable object. It means s dot reverse is not available. See, if I write like this, s dot rev, there is no option. s dot reverse is not available. Okay. A string is immutable so how to solve this problem to, to solve this problem I want to reverse a string I want to print like this m u i n e l e s like that so how to reverse so to reverse what exactly I'll do first quickly I'll create one integer length variable let's see l e n and I'll get the length of this particular string so length of this particular string is like like this zero it will start from zero one two three four five six seven Okay, the length of this is particular string is 7. So we have one method s dot length method is there. Okay, it will give you the length of the string. And then what I'll do, I'll start my for loop. Okay, and then one counter I'll start int i is equal to. Now see guys, I have to reverse a string. So obviously I have to start my counter from here, from m, from the last index. Okay. So the length of this particular string is seven. So I have to start my index from seven only, right? So what I'll do, simple, I'll do length, okay? So the length, it will give you, what is the length? Zero to seven, it means total number of length is, okay, uh, the length will be eight in that case. So I have to start from seventh location. Why seventh location? If you start from like this, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have to start my counter from seventh location and the length is eight. It will give you zero to seven. It means length will become eight. So I'll start my loop from i equal to length minus one, right? So eight minus one, seven. So it will start from m, okay? And then I will write i greater than equal to, you have to write y equal to <clears throat> equal to zero. Why? Because I have to include this S also, right? This S also because this S position is available on zeroth location. So I greater than equal to zero. Also I'll write and then I have to see first thing I have to st start from here. Okay. And length minus one, it means seven. Then seven to six, six to five, five to four, four to three, three to two, two to one and one to zero. It means in the decreasing order I have to maintain. So I'll write I minus minus, right? I minus minus right and then above that just above the for loop I'll, I'll maintain one reverse variable also string reverse is equal to a blank variable i'll define over here okay to store the reverse string 
and simple what I'll do first I'll do s dot one method is there character at character at at i index so what will happen s dot character at character at means whatever the value you are passing the index you are passing give me the character which is available on the specific index okay so first time i equal to 7 so it will what is the value of 7 m so it will give you m right and what i'll do i'll store in this particular reverse is equal to reverse plus like this i'll append with this reverse now why i'm appending because the first time reverse is blank no value in reverse so what exactly it will do reverse is equal to blank plus m so it will become like this m okay the value of reverse will be m okay then again i minus minus i minus minus means okay 7 minus minus it will become 6 so this will become u okay so again reverse is now the what is the value of reverse reverse equal to m so now it will become m plus u so it will become like this m u okay again minus minus it means 5 5 means again it will check okay i is equal to 5 5 greater than equal to 0 yes condition is true it will come over here reverse is equal to m u plus s dot character at 5 character at 5 is i so it will become i like this and then something like this n then e okay then l e and then s okay and then i'll print out of the for loop so once this loop is completed out of the for loop i'll print this reverse variable okay guys i'll print this reverse variable and then just execute it see it's printing reverse of this particular string you can see that s e l e n i u m selenium is getting printed over here right selenium is getting printed over here don't print this reverse okay this reverse variable inside the for loop guys what will happen it will give you output like this first m then m u m u i m u i n blah 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 and then it will give you the complete string okay so if you want to avoid these number of okay uh, prints on the console okay you can avoid so we should not print this particular thing in the for loop out of the for loop once the final reverse string is done then only we should print okay so this is the standard way this is the first way okay that using for loop and yeah using for loop method we have another way let me comment this where is you have to give these two solutions okay the second way is using string buffer class okay using string buffer class so what we have to do we have to create the object of a string buffer a string buffer is the java class it's already available in java and i'll create the object like this sf is equal to new string buffer okay and this in this particular string buffer constructor we have to pass this s what is the s s equal to selenium okay and then i'll print system dot out dot print ln sf dot reverse function is available over here guys this reverse function is available in a string buffer not in a string because a string buffer is mutable okay a string buffer is mutable class okay but a string is immutable a string buffer is mutable class so i can apply reverse over here so that's where reverse is available in a string buffer not in a string so they will ask you at a time of interview what is the difference between a string and a string buffer a string is immutable and a string buffer is mutable in a string class we don't have any reverse function in a string buffer we have a reverse function okay so what exactly i'll create i have done in a string buffer class i have passed this particular s string okay variable and on this particular object reference sf dot reverse what exactly it will do it will reverse this string and then it will print okay so if you run it see selenium is getting printed okay sf selenium is the reverse of selenium is getting printed over here okay so let me uncomment this line also okay so there are two ways okay both will print reverse of this particular string okay you can write any string if you writing hello world it will reverse this particular string like this hello world okay so this is the very very famous interview question guys okay how will you reverse a particular string okay so the question is reverse a string okay 
reverse a string this is a question they might ask you difference between string and string buffer they might ask you do we have reverse function in string answer is no okay because a string is a immutable object okay so we cannot have reverse function don't say that okay it's simple as dot reverse and reverse it no it's a wrong answer okay so that's it for this and this session and it's please practice it's very very simple interview question but uh, especially with for loop how will you do that you have to make sure that okay your logic is perfectly fine make sure you're starting with length minus one i.e greater than equal to is very very important guys some people they forget to put this equal to okay so please equal to also and then i minus minus and then simple append it with the reverse variable reverse plus s dot character at i okay and then out of the for loop you have to print don't print inside the for loop guys out of the for loop you have to print okay very simple in the next session i'll give you some other things like other interview questions we will prepare okay so that's all for this session thank you so much and uh, if you really like this particular series guys please share it and then subscribe to the channel thank you